Hey everyone, I have a quick word to share today. And today's word is you're standing up for those who can't. You are standing up for those who can't. And today's scripture reference, I've got three. The first is Mark 10, 13 through 16, and it reads, let the children come to me. And they were bringing children to him that he might touch them. And the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw it, he was not indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not hinder them, for to such belong, belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. And he took them into his arms and blessed them, laying his hands on them. And then the next passage is Isaiah 1, 17, and it reads, Learn to do good, seek justice, help the oppressed, defend the cause of orphans, fight for the rights of widows. And then the last scripture reference is Psalms 37, 27 through 29, and it reads, Turn from evil and do good, and you will live in the land forever. For the Lord loves justice, and he will never abandon the godly. He will keep them safe forever, but the children of the wicked will die. The godly will possess the land and will live there forever. So many of you, and please take this to the Lord for confirmation. This message is for a very specific group of people. Test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. Um, but many of you who are drawn to this channel, um, are a voice for the voiceless. You know, you have a heart for uh, helping others, especially people who are who are oppressed, for the poor, for the homeless, um, you know, for children. Um, you know, this first scripture reference the Lord gave me, let the little, let the children come to me. It's talking about how important the children are to Jesus, you know, and the next, generation and the Lord is very concerned about this next generation coming up and that they um, that they learn about Jesus Christ that they learn about the Lord and in our day and age you know when babies get an iPad in their hands and know how to operate it before they can talk <laughs> you know that's um, that's a concern you know and we really have to ask ourselves what are we teaching our children and you know the lord is very concerned about this next generation because he is looking for the next generation of soldiers for christ who are going to go out there and spread the gospel you know we know we're in the end times and the only way you know before the lord can return Every nation must hear the gospel. And so the Lord is raising up the next generation of soldiers for Christ. And many of you are involved in that movement. And that's why the Lord has shown favor on your life. He's blessing you because you are going, um, pretty much given up your life to um, help the oppressed, to help the poor, to help give a voice to those people who don't have a voice. You know, the second scripture reference, Isaiah 117, learn to do good, seek justice, help the oppressed, defend the cause of orphans, fight for the rights of widows. And many of you are doing this. You're helping to give a voice to the voiceless. You are, um, you know, many of you financially support ministries where the money is going directly to help impoverished people. Um, I know I talk about my favorite ministry to support is Abba's House Center for Children in Cienfuegos um, in the northern part of the country. And I'm actually going up there next week. I know I've mentioned this, that I'm meeting with a missions team from uh, Las Vegas. And we're looking at doing uh, medical missions later this year. And when you are, um, you know, when you've pretty much turned over all of your hopes and dreams that you might have had to allowing the Lord to plant what he, his purpose for your life, you know, that's when you're really fruitful in the kingdom of God. When you deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow him. Those who lose their life, find it. And many of you have done this and the Lord is using you 
to shine a bright light on many of these areas of darkness where you know these people have been forgotten about or it seems they've been forgotten but we know the lord never forgets about these people and he's using you to help bring justice and to help the oppressed and to shine light in um you know demonic systems that are are meant to keep people down and you are doing what the lord's calling you to do so um the last scripture reference matthew 5 38 through 39 it talks about you know it's teaching about oh i'm sorry um psalms 37 27 through 29 Turn from evil, do good, and you will live in the land forever. For the Lord loves justice, and he will never abandon the godly. And many of you have turned from evil in your life. You've repented. And now you are pursuing every the things that you love are what the Lord loves. And because of this, you will live in the land forever. The Lord will never abandon you. He calls you a friend, as it says in John 15. And you are working in um, cahoots with the Lord. <laughs> I know that's such a weird word, but that's what I heard of my spirit. You're in cahoots with the Holy Spirit. And when, when that happens, you know, you're on assignment. And many of you have embraced your assignments. You're moving forward. And you are really going to make a difference. You are making a difference in this world. Your kingdom assignment is making a difference in this world it's moving the needle forward we're taking back territory from for jesus christ on this earth from the enemy and you are a part of that movement so you know the lord is just so proud of you and he needs people like you you know he needs people like you who are willing to give up everything lose your life so that you can find your life in jesus christ and many of you have done that so just keep following his divine instruction keep pushing forward you're in psalm 91 protection the lord is going to make sure that his team of ministering and warring angels is surrounding you to lead you and guide you and keep you safe and you know just continue pushing forward the lord has a lot of amazing things coming for you and your future and you know as long as you stay in the abraham covenant you stay in relationship with jesus christ the lord has big plans with you in your life so i'm not sure who this message is for today please take this to the lord for confirmation and just know that i am so thankful for all of my new subscribers all of you loyal subscribers all of you i pray for you each day that the lord continue to lead guide and direct you into his perfect will for your lives i pray that the right messages reach the right people at the right time that the algorithm of god will reach you if you feel the holy spirit's leading you to sow into this message i encourage you to do so and just know that without your financial partnership, I wouldn't be able to do, to do what I'm doing here in the Dominican Republic. And so I'm so thankful from the bottom of my heart to all of you who have um, supported me and partnered with me and what the Lord is doing here in the Dominican Republic. So just know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ and stay blessed.